another day, another dollar. Today is Monday, July 6th, and these are the top five things to know today on Wall Street. Kicking things off with number one, while you were sleeping, China's Shanghai Composite surged 5.7% to score its best one-day rally since 2015. Chinese state media is pushing the narrative that a bull market is here. The government-controlled Securities Times newspaper wrote that a healthy bull market is now more important than ever to the economy. Now, stocks rallied on that news as state media narrative is often viewed as a strong hint of what local authorities are willing to do in order to turn it into reality. On to number two, the upbeat sentiment from Asia spilled over into Europe where stocks jumped across the continent in risk on trade to reach their highest level in four weeks. The pan-European stocks 50 index was last up 2%. Sectors with high exposure to China, such as car makers, industrials, and luxury goods makers rallied strongly on the news. On to number three, stocks on Wall Street look set for a strong open to kick off the week, even as surging coronavirus cases across the country delay business reopenings. The Dow is expected to jump almost 400 points after the three-day weekend. The S&P and Nasdaq futures are also pointing to strong gains at the open. On to number four, on the data front, the highlight on today's economic calendar will be the ISM Services PMI report for June, due at 10 a.m. Eastern time. The survey is expected to show that the U.S. services sector stopped contracting last month as the economy continues to rebound thanks to easing lockdowns across the nation. We're expecting a reading of 50, which would be up from 45.4 in the previous month. As always, you can track the data releases in real time on investing.com's economic calendar. And finally, number five, Warren Buffett finally pulled the trigger. Berkshire Hathaway announced on Sunday that it would buy the natural gas assets of Dominion Energy for $9.7 billion, including debt. The takeover is Berkshire's biggest acquisition in more than four years. Just in May, Buffett revealed that the company had a cash pile of more than $137 billion, so he's finally putting some of that to use. So that's it for me. May the trading gods be with you. Don't forget to head over to YouTube, hit the like button and the subscribe button. Stay safe and stay healthy.